fantastic, so I'm hoping he's gonna start again. Come, guys. It's one of the best things out here, because the noise that they make sounds very much like the one of a zebra, ironically. So we've got the female, which is the one closer to us, the one on the left, and then the male with the bigger beak, the one on the right. It's a good comparison, and the only way to tell them apart is just by the size of the beak. And it's normally a lot easier if you've got two of them together to be able to tell who's who. Now, I'm hoping that he's going to start making that beautiful call, because they raise their, their feathers and they open them up. It's almost like they're, they're landing, and then they start making their noise and, and bobbing their heads. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe not anymore. Maybe they're going to go back to sunbathing and grooming themselves and cleaning up all of their feathers. I had hope that they were going to do that, but it seems like hornbills this morning are being quite difficult with us, either flying away or stopping their activities as soon as we arrive. Kathy, you say they look beautiful with... Ah, oh, yes. All right. Sorry. All right, sorry guys, it was just a strange update on the radio. Sorry, can you confirm where... That lock is running. Oh, ah, ah, they're fighting! <coughs> Alright, guys, I've got to unfortunately move because there's a vehicle coming behind us. I apologize, it seems like they found Tandy on Torchwood, if I'm not mistaken. So that was the update that I was listening to on the radio. Um, but unfortunately, Torchwood is an area where we cannot go into. So we get to know that she's around and that she's expanding her area of operation. But I'm just going to let these guys drive past us. And they can carry on and so can we. Nazar Ali, how are you? How are you? We are Any updates on your side? Yes, we are cooking there. What, are, what have you got there? All English. All English. On Chitwa? Yes. Where on Chitwa? On Chitwa. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go there now. Is there a lineup? Yeah, talk to them. I can't hear them. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's a big lineup. Okay, can you do me a favor and speak to them and put me on the lineup? Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Yes, I have now. Come, volume. All right, you're more than welcome to drive past if you want. <laughs> switch it off, yeah? Switch it off? Yeah. Uh, okay, it might be uh, the thing, but no problem. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on right now. I'll fill you all in in one second. Okay. No, oh, shame. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. Okay. All right. I'm sure. Okay. Wait until Okay. Whereabouts is it? Because I can't copy the guys too much. Yeah. Yeah. Where the sticks were. Roughly when they had that bamba. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Perfect. I'll try to get a hold of them on the radio. Thank you. Right. Sorry, guys. This got a bit complicated and out of hand. <laughs> so let me just explain everything that's been happening. Apparently, they found some leopards at Chito, although Hali's quite optimistic, and he says that they have found all of them on Chito, which I don't think it's quite possible. So we are going to go into the lineup and see who it is that's around. But because there are there are more than one leopard, there is quite a lot of people that want to go there. So I'm just going to hang around the southern area of the property, see if perhaps we get lucky with a leopard of our own until we are allowed to go all the way over there and start looking at whoever it is that is out there so apologies for spending so much time on the radio and talking to the guys i was just trying to get a hold of everyone standing by no ah, that's not me all right no worries. Ooh. Ooh. the radio is falling down now all right let's carry on and see what it is that we can see. But let's go in the meantime to Taylor, who hopefully will be having something very nice to show us. Well, I'm not going to be doing any more dancing today. I think that's enough embarrassment for one day, for well, for the next week or till the next team member's birthday, I suppose. Anyways, so we're driving around now, and I know because Ellie's going to head on to Chito, I think we're going to start sort of bumbling around in these areas and working this uh, southwestern section and see what else we can pick up. It would be quite nice if we could maybe find some, some elephants. I did see quite a, quite a few elephant tracks at one point when we were looking for the lions, but I didn't focus on them. We're just going past a couple of civilian vehicles, obviously leaving, heading home, which is quite sad. They looked very happy though. I think if I was leaving the property, I'd be absolutely miserable. So lots of corrugations here. We will turn off on the next road now. So I saw Ralph last night. So he's guiding up at Cheetah Plains. And he said to me, and I don't know, I sort of briefly told Ali that he got word that apparently Shadow was, I know she mentioned it earlier, Shadow was seen around this area on Triple M Gauri Mania, the, the signs at Arethusa. So she does like it around you and she's been spending more and more time on Duma. So I think she could be around in here somewhere. Well, hopefully we'll be able to pick her up. Maybe we'll check Treehouse Dam. I'm not sure, has Ellie checked Treehouse Dam, Megan? Did you remember seeing her go there at any point this morning? Okay, we'll, Megan's just gonna quickly check uh, to see if uh, she did go that way. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll maybe head around there as we'll go and check and then we'll go back to Gallego shortcut. Oh, okay, so Ellie's going to Treehouse Dam now, so that's fine. So we'll go in here, we'll check a couple of roads and then we'll go back towards maybe Gallego shortcut as well and go and sit around that den and see if anybody has woken up because the sun is starting to get quite nice and warm. I had to put my scarf back on though, my neck was cold. But the rest of my body is warmed up quite nicely now, which is lovely. I really do hope we can find some hyenas and find where they've been denning. Who was walking here? A civet. A civet and a parlor were walking here at some point. No leopard tracks just yet. But we'll keep searching. So this road has definitely been driven on. This one has not been driven on, so we'll take the one that hasn't been driven on just yet. I hope Ali gets into this leopard sighting that's on Chitwa somewhere. That'll be quite nice for her. I love how we keep swapping roles though. One moment I'm with the lions and the next day she's with the lions and then she's with the leopard and then I'm back with the lions. It's quite fun and I hope we can keep this, uh, this momentum going with all the cats because it's quite nice to see a cat on every game drive. I was just walking here. I thought I saw a leopard track at one point, but I may have just been a hyena. No, not a leopard track, just more hyena footprints. And another thing we need to keep checking in this area, this is really good, is to see if there's any guari trees that have got fruit, because they were starting to get their little flowers. Let's see, no, this is not quite guari territory just yet. We need to go up a bit further. There's a few of them. 
but I'd like to eat some fruit. I'd like to have put some natural red lipstick on this morning. No, none there. And I'll try and show you some as they start the fruit starting to develop. No, there's none on these trees. The ones that I was at that I used my pom I made my pom poms from. You see, look here. Let me jump out very quickly. Let me go around the other way. This is going to be full of fruit. Look at this. It's going to be fantastic. So you can see all the little berries just starting to develop now. Very small still. Can't eat those. I don't think that they would taste very nice. You can see what they taste like when they're this small. Like nothing. You don't taste like anything. This is going to be a very good tree to come to though. And I'm going to be fighting the birds and the monkeys and all sorts of things off because I love this fruit. It's one of my favorite fruits in the bush. So that's quite nice. But I think we've still got a few weeks to go. Maybe by the, um, let's say, the end of July. Maybe the last week of July. These, uh, these trees should have some fruit. Right. Get back in again to get all my wires plugged in. Oh, I'm about to lose my cleaning cloth. That would be a disaster. What would I do, Sebastian? Can you imagine if I lost my cleaning cloth? But I, could, I, could use, I could probably use this. You could sweep. Like she also makes a great broom too. Oh, that works really well and I can reach. It's nice. I'll remember that when I go off-roading and I get all the leaves on the, the hood of the car. Oh, hello, warthog, and hello, kudu. Let's see if they're going to stay there. Let me go forward once more. Get the next gap. There's a couple of animals around here. Oh, look, it's the warthog using the luxury facilities. The water surprise. We only saw that about 100 times yesterday. There it is. Yes, it's a very vulnerable p position that you found yourself in there, Warthog. Off you go, young lady. Now, we, we often see Warthogs in this area. But it's just the one, not a family of them. Maybe the rest are just off and about. Now, there's some birds actually here in this quarry tree. And we we're talking about LBJs. And I think we're going to get a chance. There's some southern black tits. There's a batis. I'm just going to see if you can find any of them that are hopping about on the top of the tree. It's a little food party. I'm just trying to see exactly who we got. Can you hear them? There's some really cool birds. Who's that? Can we have a look? A close look. Sorry, I can't see any of them. It's so difficult. Oh, sit still. Who's there? There's a, I think there's an orange-breasted bushrike flying around in here too. Because I could see a bird with a slight grey head, but it wasn't as big as a grey-headed bushrike. Sit still, please. This is the hardest part. Who do we have back there? What are you? My goodness, what I'm trying to... Is that a brew brew? That looks like it maybe is a brew brew. I'm just trying to quickly check on my app while you search in, in that tree for some more birds. There's a whole lot of them jumping around there, but just that rufous colour stood out quite nicely. I think it was a little brew brew that we got a quick view of. There's a whole lot more. They're bouncing about. Sometimes if you do that, you can entice them to come in your direction. All right, let me concentrate. Let me get my bird app out. Sometimes you, you don't see these birds. Then they become, they make the tree untasty. So the elephant just breaks far it's proven to be lucky she's seen something I'm just going to pull off to the side here. Yeah, there's lots of hyena tracks here. 
down on the ground. There's so many. I think they are using the site. So this is where I was talking about. There's a, this little patch of, of, of sand. And it definitely looks like they've been moving around there. You can see a couple of, of footprints. But no one seems to be home right now. Well, they could be little ones. They could just be inside some of these, these burrows. Now, there is another burrow on the other side. I'm going to do a big loop around here just to check all the areas. But I'm going to send you back across to Ellie while I create a large loop around this mound and she's managed to find her elephant again. We have found an elephant, a whole herd of them. This beautiful female was just walking towards the road a bit too decisively against us and I'm wondering why. She does seem to be pregnant so perhaps she's she's just feeling a bit full. Now I think maybe that bull was actually coming away from the herd that we saw and not towards that half trunked herd. But there are quite a few members all around um, and they're all coming down to the road and we are surrounded by lots of them, little ones, bigger ones, tiny ones. So it seems like Treehouse Dam has been a good spot to come and check as all the Ellies are here. So I'm so happy that we saw them after seeing all their tracks uh, this morning and that the fact that we're not going crazy and the elephants are all around us I mean, it seems like these three that are going here are on a bit of a mission So I wonder what it is that's got them a bit upset <laughs> This is their version of takeaway food Yuri, you're wondering how do elephants tolerate the cold? Well, they've got a very thick skin it's normally about three centimeters thick so that protects them towards the cold but also if they're very very cold they will you'll see that they'll their ears will be very tightly close to their body and that way they won't dissipate any heat and they will keep it in them <coughs> but I think there are a few more walking so I'm just gonna move backwards see if maybe we manage to have a bit of a better view because there are lots of ellies here wonderful you're saying you love me you're saying you love ellie walk oh, i think i do too this is wonderful now i've kind of gotten myself into a tight spot over here let me just Turn around here, where we can have. Hello. Beautiful elephants all around us. <laughs> Hello guys, good to see you. We've been looking at your tracks the whole morning. Very nice to see that I haven't been imagining you. Now it seems like we're all off in breakfast time. The different young ones are feeding tiny little ones, they're nursing from their mothers, and they've just carried on moving. So I wonder if perhaps they're not gonna make their way slowly but surely onto twin dams. Their, some of their trunks are quite like this one that's walking around. You can see that they she's got slightly and darker bottom part of the trunk than the top so I think maybe they have actually come from Trias Dam and they were there earlier on drinking <gasps> look at these two troublemakers running around beautiful hmm, interesting are you going to come for us little one <laughs> Yeah, you're a brave Ellie. Teresa from New York, you're wondering if elephants sleep lying down <laughs> or standing up. Sorry, this little one's just being too funny. They they can do it both ways. Yeah, very brave hiding in between mama's legs now, are we? Um, the little ones will often sleep lying down and the uh, adults will be in a circle around them but uh, the adults also they can sleep laying down which they don't do too often but you can almost see them dozing off sometimes when they're standing up. 
<laughs> this is so cute. Aren't you brave? <laughs> yeah, it came running all the way to us and then just as soon as it got real and it realized that it had run way too close to us and it decided to go in between its mother's legs and just seek for protection over there. So sweet. Seems like these elephants are on a mission. They, there's probably something that's calling. I wouldn't be able to know what, but they are steadily moving onto towards our southern boundary. I think if they carry on in the direction where this female is going, they'll get to twin them in the next little while or so. Let me move. <laughs> Sammy, Jamie, you're wondering if elephants can have twins. Um, it's been recorded, yes, and I was super lucky once to see it, but it's very rare for elephants to have twins. I mean, I think only 1% of all the calves of elephants are, are twins. So, um, it's very, very rare and they can survive or they are known to survive if the conditions are good. But I would say ugh, it's very hard for the mother to be able to suckle two, um, two tiny elephants and elephants will not allow suckle. So the little one will just have to go f to their mothers to be able to, to survive the next uh, or the first few months of their life. So it is very rare. It does happen every now and again. I actually, and I know this is so funny, but I was looking at those little two earlier on and I hold, held my breath and I was like, oh, I wonder if these two are twins. Because they look roughly about the same size, but a good way of then letting, of knowing if they are twins or if you're just thinking that they might be is depends on what female they run to for suckle. So if the calves, if the two calves run to the same mother and they suckle from the same mother at the same time, it could be a good indication that that particular female is the mother of the two of them because like we said alice suckling doesn't normally happen with the elephants but in this case the one came charging darting out of the bushes to scare us off and then the one went to its mother and then the other one went to the other one <laughs> so unfortunately no twins today but it would be something quite special to see wouldn't it beautiful Nice to see such a big herd of elephants. We've been missing you. We've been wishing you back. And I think maybe all around us, hiding in between the bushes, there's maybe about 30 odd of them. Oh. I love spending time with elephants. They're such interesting creatures to watch. Michael, you're wondering how much milk an elephant calf drinks a day. Well, until they're about three months old, I would imagine that they drink, I want to say about 30 liters of milk a day at least. I could be wrong, it could be a little bit more than that, but just when they become three months old, then they will also start eating grass and trees and branches and everything else. So, I will have to double check and let you know for sure. But I think it's a good indication when little ones are born, they are about a hundred kilograms already. And all the little creatures they tend to eat about either five to ten percent of their body weight on a daily basis just to be able to survive. So that's the count that I'm going into. So I, I assume as they start getting older, they will drink anything from maybe 10, 15 to 30 liters of milk in a day. Oh crossing the road up ahead. Hmm. Natural sweet tooth, you're wondering if el pregnant elephants have a smell. Um, I would imagine they do, but it's not something that we can pick up. Perhaps it's more pheromones that they put out that allows all of the other um, herd members to know that they are pregnant 
but it's not something that we can pick up upon like for example like what we do when an elephant is in must because it's a very pungent smell when the males go into must um, not quite the same when they are pregnant right seems like there are a few more crossing up ahead of us so I'm gonna try and go there and see if perhaps we can have a look at them because it's getting a bit thick around this area well we I think we need to thank the squirrel the squirrel was the one that pointed us in this direction so good thanks little squirrel we have found some beautiful elephants this morning. I think maybe some more of them crossing the road in front of us. These Nifi are wondering how old the calves are when they are weaned uh, from their mother's milk. Well, they are about two years of age or so, but they'll carry on somewhat suckling until they're about four sometimes when the next uh, when the next calf arrives. So they have to have mother's milk for two years to be able to survive, and then from two to four, I think it becomes more of a nutrient supplement type of comfort uh, nursing. And as soon as the, the next little one comes around, the one that is four years old or so, they will stop drinking milk and just go into full solids. But like I was saying earlier, when they're about three months old or so, they already start slowly getting into, into solids. Because you can imagine it's quite hard for a female elephant to produce enough food to sustain the weight of a little one. Teresa, the baby's nurse, uh, you're wondering if the baby's nurse by only using their trunk. Uh, no, they nurse by using their mouths. So they don't use their trunks for nursing at all. They just come into you. So the mammary glands for the females are between her front legs. So she will often move her legs slightly forward and then that'll allow the little ones to attach themselves. And they just do it with their mouths. Oh, it seems like Taylor has managed to find a very small creature out in the bush. So let's go over to her and see how the little squirrel is doing.